Now we'll cover time signatures. A meter is a regular pattern which recurs throughout the music and is known as time. Time signature is indicated by a fraction next to the treble and bass clefs. Sometimes time signature is simply referred to as meter. The lower number of the fraction tells us what kind of note receives one beat or downbeat as some people call it. The upper number of the fraction tells us how many beats are in one measure. In Western music, there are two types of time signatures or meters. They're simple, and it has the upper numbers as two, three, or four, and each beat is subdivided by two. And there's compound, and it has the upper number as six, nine, or 12. Each beat is subdivided by groups of three. Other symbols you will see next to the cliffs are the large C and the large C with a vertical line going through it. The C stands for common time, which is the same thing as 4-4 four -four time. The C with a line through it stands for cut time, which is the same as 4-4 four -four time, but everything is cut in half. That means that a whole note will equal a half note, a quarter note will equal an eighth note, and so on. With simple meter and having a two, three, or four as the top number, the beats per measure look somewhat like this diagram. In two, four, you will notice that you could have two quarter notes taking up the two beats, or as shown in the second measure, it could be split up between eighth notes, sixteenth notes, or other combinations. The variations can go from simple to complex. The only rule you need to remember is that with a 2-4 time signature, each measure can only have a total of two beats in it. As you can see in the 3-4 time signature, the same rules apply, but each measure can only have a total of three beats in it. The same rules apply for the 4-4 time signature, only having four beats in each measure. Think of a measure as a measuring cup. It holds one cup, and you can put many different measurements of liquid into it, as long as they only total one cup. If you go over that amount, the cup overflows and you have a mess. This is how measures work. You can only put the correct amount in the measure, or you wind up with a musical mess. With compound meter, and having 6, 9, or 12 as the top number, the same types of rules apply, but they may look a bit different. As shown with the 6-8 time signature, each beat is a dotted note. The dotted quarter note acts like three beats in this time signature, so there are two dotted notes placed there to equal the six beats of this measure. The bottom number, 8, means the eighth note gets the downbeat. The dotted quarter note is the same as three eighth notes put together. So that is why there's two dotted quarter notes. That would equal six. I know this sounds a bit confusing right now, but in video two, we will be covering these types of notes and rhythms in more detail. Now we will cover simple time signatures. With the two four time signature, the quarter note, represented by the bottom four, gets the downbeat with two beats per measure. With the three, four time signature, the quarter note represented by the bottom four gets the downbeat with three beats per measure. With the four, four time signature, the quarter note represented by the bottom four again gets the downbeat with four beats per measure. The four, four time signature is the time signature most often used in today's modern music. The other two time signatures, 2-4 and 3-4, can be found more often in classical music.